So today's topic is lactase deficiency, or in other words, known as uh, lactose intolerance. Uh, lactose intolerance is an uh, inability to digest the lactose, the main sugar in the milk, uh, which gives rise to intestinal symptoms, you know. Now the lactose intolerance is caused by a deficiency of the intestinal enzyme known as lactase that splits the lactose into the smaller sugars like glucose and galactose and allows the lactose to be absorbed from the intestine, you know. Now virtually all individuals uh, are born with the lactase and the ability to digest the lactose, you know. Uh, the disappearance of the lactase is either genetically programmed or to occur after the childhood or is due to diseases of the lining of the intestine that destroys the lactase, you know. Now the lactose intolerance that occurs uh, after the age of 21 uh, is known as a genetically determined lactase deficiency and uh, usually occurs uh, between the ages 5 and 21. It's rarely due to the genetic lactase deficiency and it's just uh, other process is interfering with the lactose uh, uh, digestion you know and the primary signs and the symptoms of that uh, lactose intolerance include like uh, uh, diarrhea or uh, uh, passing gas you know or abdominal pain indigestion and the other signs and the symptoms of the lactose intolerance may include like abdominal bloating, abdominal distension, nausea, uh, constipation uh, uh, is not a symptom of lactose intolerance, you know. And uh, the symptoms are uh, similar in adults, toddlers and the infants. Now, among the individuals, the severity of the signs and symptoms of the lactose intolerance vary and they may be provoked by greater or lesser quantities of lactose, you know. And the most people are able to tolerate smaller amounts of lactose even if they are uh, lactase deficient, you know, or the, for example, the uh, lactose in yogurt, you know. And uh, some people develop severe symptoms with the minimal intake of the lactose. Now, the lactose intolerance can be diagnosed by eliminating the lactose from the diet and uh, observing for disappearance of symptoms uh, or uh, provocation of the symptoms with the milk uh, challenge, you know. Now the tests that are useful to diagnose the lactose intolerance are the lactase deficiency include like lactase uh, uh, breath test, uh, blood glucose test, uh, stool acidity test, intestinal biopsy and the genetic testing looking for the gene that control the production of the lactase, you know. And the lactose intolerance is treated with the dietary changes like supplements of the lactase enzyme, correction of the underlying conditions in the small intestine and possibly by adoption or to increasing amounts of milk, you know. Uh, so you should uh, just uh, eliminate the milk products uh, from your food. Now, the lactose uh, intolerance is rarely due to milk allergy in adults and the children with the milk allergy uh, where uh, it is more common, uh, usually outgrow the allergy by adulthood, you know. And the avoidance of milk and the milk containing products can lead to uh, dietary deficiencies of the calcium and the vitamin D uh, that can lead to bone disease, osteoporosis. And the best option is that uh, uh, in that case, if you have the lactose intolerance, uh, in the superstores there are the lactose free milk available. So. If it is, uh, it's a normal milk, but though they add the enzymes, lactase, just to break down the lactase, uh, lactose uh, to glucose and lactose, you know. So basically it's a standard milk, you know, but the only thing is the enzyme added, you know. So that's the best option. Uh, there's no cure for the genetically programmed uh, lactase deficiency with the lactose intolerance. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.